All right, great morning, everyone. God bless you. Want to welcome uh, you this morning. Greetings to uh, this revelation moment for this Tuesday morning, December the 3rd. We greet you in the marvelous, wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Want to welcome you this morning, everyone. Uh, bless you, bless you, bless you. Good to see you on today. If you're connecting with us live, great morning to you. This is Pastor Jay. I want to welcome you to this uh, morning's broadcast, and it is good to see you, good to be with you, good to be on your timeline this morning. If you're tuning in with us, uh, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, we welcome everyone as you tune in with us live today, as you tune in with us uh, on this uh, terrific Tuesday. It is a terrific Tuesday. It is Tuesday, uh, the 3rd of December. A great morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to you as you tune in with us. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. Let me get my broadcast up. If you're watching us from uh, the Atlanta area, good morning. If you're tuning in with us, greetings to you. Blessings, blessings. Uh, glad everybody is on this morning. Go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and host a watch party. Invest and invite and involve someone in this broadcast this morning. We're excited about today. This morning, we're going to touch on uh, the principles of keeping focus, uh, your, some principles to keep focus. And so as we do that this morning, we invite you to involve and invest in somebody's life this morning. Uh, I don't know anybody that does not need uh, some help with overcoming some distractions. And so if you felt like you've been distracted the beginning of this year or even going into this month. Uh, we want to pray for you today. Good morning. Great morning, New Jersey. Want to welcome those that are in the northeast. My gosh, Boston, New York, uh, Ohio, all of those that are tuning in with us this morning. Uh, it is snowy and in cold and cold, um, but it is nice here. In Atlanta, I guess I would say, but wherever you are, great morning. Good morning, Beverly. Good morning, Catherine, Karen, uh, Janice. Welcome this morning from Miami Gardens. Want to greet everybody in South Florida. If you're watching this, good morning, Larry. God bless you, brother. Good to see you on this morning. If you're tuning in with us, uh, know that you are watching live. And this is um, Revelation Moment for this Tuesday morning. A terrific Tuesday that if you're on your way to work, if you're already on the clock, whatever you're doing, Know that uh, this is the day that the Lord has made for you and you shall and I will and I hope you will rejoice and be glad in it. So I want to welcome you this morning. Greetings to you. Uh, blessings to you from uh, the city of Conyers, East Atlanta. Uh, we greet everybody. We bless you. And as you tune in, good morning, Karen. Welcome uh, this morning, Karen Blue Poiser. Welcome, Blue Tide Poiser. Welcome, uh, Joshua, everybody, as you're tuning in. Do me a favor. Do someone else a favor. Invest, invite, and involve. Hit that button. Get somebody tuned in. Let's talk about what's going on. It's Revelation Moment, and it is the morning time. It is your morning uh, broadcast, morning show, morning encouragement, morning manna. Well, we're praying for you, praying with you, uh, praying on behalf of you, standing in the gap for you. And if you are tuning in, good morning, Miss Eartha. I want to welcome everybody, uh, Candice, that's tuning in, Jordan, all of those that are tuning in from the north, the south, the east and the west. If you're a little warm this morning, uh, then some praise the Lord. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Shonda. Everybody that's tuning in, we welcome you. And again, uh, happy Tuesday. Good morning, Eric. God bless you, brother. Good morning, John. Want to welcome everybody that's tuning in. Welcome everybody. Deidre, Eric McLeod. God bless you, brother. Uh, all of the brothers, all of the Eric's, all of the John's, all of the brothers that tune in. Uh, we welcome you this morning. If you're tuning in with us alive, we welcome you today. Uh, don't, they say, don't change that dial. Yeah, don't. Don't slide any further. Stay right here with us for at least the next uh, 25 minutes and you'll be blessed. Excuse me. You'll be blessed. You'll be encouraged. And uh, we welcome on the ambulance. Uh, Want to say greetings to Derek on the ambulance this morning. Uh, and greetings to all of those that serve and protect and those that are first responders. If you're a police, if you're a security guard, if you are 
on your post today or will be on your post. We thank God for you. We want to pray uh, for Albert. We want to pray for all of those. We thank God for our officers and uh, those men and women in blue, those men and women uh, on the truck, wherever that truck is. Uh, we greet you today. As you're tuning in, we welcome you on this uh, third day of December. And if you have not begun to write, write your vision, make it plain. God has a plan for you today. He has a plan for you this week, this month, this year. And I just pray in Jesus name uh, that you will come into the fullness of what God has for you, that he will begin to order your steps, that he will begin to direct your paths, that he will begin to set uh, that thing in your heart to burn, that you will be led and directed by the spirit and by the presence of God. And so as you're tuning in, as people are connecting this morning, we're praying for uh, your family. We're praying for you. And so, God, we thank you today. We magnify you as we lift you up. We exalt you, God. We thank you that there is none like you. So we begin this morning with you. God, I thank you for a corporate anointing to pray that as we pray, you said when we pray, you are in the midst. And so as we pray, we pray according to your word. Let your word be done. Let it be done today on earth, in our earth, in our latitude and longitude as it is in heaven. And we thank you today for daily bread, daily provision. We thank you that bread is deliverance is the children's bread. So we thank you in Jesus name. Uh, we pray right now that, God, you will begin to uh, set in order this day. As we begin it, we command this morning to align with you, to align with heaven, to align with your purpose. God, we thank you that you have encamped angels around us. And we thank you that there is no weapon that is formed against us. It will not, it cannot, and it shall not prosper. And so as we uh, lift up your name today, we lift up. Uh, the name of Yahweh, we lift up the name of Yeshua, the name of Jehovah, the name of the of great of the great I am. He is the I am that I am. And so we pray that the I am will be in your day today. Uh, Father, as we come, we give you thanks. This is a giving Tuesday, but today we give you thanks. We give thanksgiving. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you Lord, our first fruit of our day as we begin our day. Welcome on um, this morning, Deborah on from Maryland. We thank you so much for tuning in. Maryland is on this morning. Father, we pray this morning for every person that is watching and tuning in from the north, the south, the east, the west, every city, every region. Father, we lift up every zip code, every address, every person uh, that is watching this morning. We thank you, Father, that, Lord, you are establishing, you are cultivating, you are aligning. Lord, we submit to you our plans today. Lord, every plan and every purpose and every idea, we come to you in Jesus' name and we ask, for Holy Spirit, that you will lead us and direct us into truth. Lord, as we worship you, your word says those that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. So we thank you this morning for worship. We thank you, Father, that as we worship you, we worship you for who you are, not for what you've done. But Lord, we know that you've done great things and you, you continue to do great things. So I pray for every person this morning. I pray uh, for Regina this morning, Carolyn this morning. Uh, Nakia this morning, right now, all of those that are connecting, Coswella, Diane, uh, praying for you, Diane, in Ohio, uh, all of those in the Midwest, the Northeast, all of those that are getting snow and ice and uh, experiencing this winter blast. We pray this morning for safety as you go to and fro, and I pray on um, this morning for your children. want to lift up uh, specifically, good morning, Greg, Greg Wade. From Wade County. God bless you, Greg. Um, we want to welcome everybody as you're tuning in. Know that we're praying for you as you're getting ready for work. We pray for your work day, uh, your work environment, your co-workers, uh, those that you do business with. If you're an entrepreneur, we're praying for your business. All of the businessmen and business women, we just cover your business and we declare and we speak over your business today. That God will increase your metron, increase your measure, increase your influence in your business. I pray for those that have just been sitting on ideals and just been working. Uh, this is not the season for mom and pop 
businesses. This is the season of multiplication. And so may God multiply you a thousand times more, your business, your idea, your influence. We declare in Jesus name that your business is so big that China opens up to you in Jesus name that things Industries and factories will be your portion, not just come on, just happenstance, but directly orchestrated by this presence and spirit of God. We pray for those this morning uh, that have children um, that may not know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I just lift up your sons, your daughters. I pray for their mind, their thoughts, that they will not be sidetracked, that they will not be distracted. And I pray this morning that they will come into the revelation of who Jesus Christ is as their Lord and their Savior. I want to pray for those that are having some financial uh, challenges. I just pray in Jesus name that God will begin to show you, begin to bring you into that what he has for you. I mean, you know, there is nothing too hard for God. And so I just believe this morning that God will begin to work out those things pertaining to you as you work out your salvation. The Bible says work out your own salvation. And so I pray this morning that as we pray that you will be strengthened in the Lord, that you would walk by faith and not by sight, that you would not be hindered, that you would not be stopped, that you would not be uh, walking in fear, but that you would walk in power. The Bible says God has not given you, given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So I pray this morning that you will be stirred in the supernatural power of God, that you will be stirred in the, the dunamis power of God, the power that will explode and go beyond where you've been. Some of us have been operating in carnal power or fleshly power or power of reasoning of what you understand. But may you come into an experience of God's supernatural power and grace through his Holy Spirit. Uh, that's very important. I believe that a lot of times we try to do things in our own strength. But uh, let me say this. This is for somebody. You've been doing all you can do. Now let God finish it. Let God do it. Turn it over to God. Turn that person, turn that family member, turn that son, turn that situation over to God. I just prayed this morning that somebody received it. God wants to release something in your life today, but you just got to release it. You've got to turn it over to him. Matter of fact, there's been some distractions. There's been some people, places and things. God says, just turn it over to me. I heard the Lord saying this morning, vengeance is mine. There are some things that you've probably been trying to say, God, where are you? And he's saying, I'm there. I'm with you. I've never left you. I've never forsaken you. I've never given up on you. Some of you don't even know that God's been working more in your life than what you can see or feel. It's not about goosebumps. It is about his Holy Spirit. It is about his presence being with you continually. Good morning, Jason. If, let me tell you, if you're up this morning, God is with you. God has not forsaken you. I want to say that. Good morning, Pastor Tony. God hasn't given up on your vision, on your dream, on your destiny, on your purpose. You've been brought into the kingdom. You've been brought, you've been born and birthed into the earth for such a time as this. And so every gift that's laying dormant, every a purpose and every assignment in your life. I call it forth in Jesus name. I call forth that creative gift. I call forth that anointed gift. I call forth that assignment. Some of you, you might have a call on your life. God has called you to do more than what you've been doing. God is not finished with you. How many, of you know, some, some of you, your season may be long, but I want to declare and decree. Somebody is at a turning point. You're at a shift. You are at a uh, upside down. God is about to make things right side up in your life. He's about to plant you and have you stable. Don't you know stability in Jesus name? Is that tongues or what? Stability is your portion. May God begin to root you and ground you in truth. Let me tell you something. Good morning, J James. God bless you. Good morning, Nicole Banks. God bless you. Good morning, Iris. Let me take, let me say this to some people this morning. I'm going to I'm going to share my word, but I feel like a Holy Ghost revelation is dropping. Somebody, 
I don't know. You've been depressed. You've been down. Let me say this. First of all, that the Lord loves you and that he's thinking about you this morning. And I want to say this today, that prophetically, a lot of you don't even realize you are this close. You are at the threshold. You are at the door of your transformation. We don't say that lightly. We say that according to the spirit of God. And sometimes you need a push this morning. You know, like you're in the gym and you can lift one more weight, one more pound, one more push. I'm going to tell you, push, pray until something happens. God is not finished. He's not finished. He's not done. He is just beginning. I believe he's beginning to open your eyes, open your destiny. Matter of fact, open platforms, open opportunities, open most of all, a great revelation of what he has for you today. There's more to your life than what meets the eye. If you think that you've just been going through the motion, God is not done with you yet. This is a word for somebody today that he's not done. He's not finished. He's just beginning. I want you to speak to it. I want you to tell God, do what you want to do, God. Whatever you, Somebody need to say, God, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Oh my gosh. I'm going to tell you, you're included. You're accepted into the beloved. God has not rejected you. You're not an orphan and you're not a bastard. You are a son and daughter of the most high God. You may not have had a relationship with your natural father. You may have lost your natural father, but let me tell you this. He's a good, good father. He's greater than good. Let me tell you, he is everything you need. And for this morning, somebody needs this word today. Somebody needs to understand stand that he's developing you. He's finishing you. He's refining you. Some of you, you don't even understand. He's shedding you. Oh my gosh. He's taking off some of that dead weight. Some of that weight that has been a burden in your life. I don't know what you've been looking for God and you've been looking for him just on a Sunday morning. But let me tell you, he's always been there. He's with you, even in your sickness and infirmity. Let me tell you this. When you realize that God is with you, your infirmity must go. When you realize that God is with you, all of your enemies will be defeated. He just needs you to get a revelation. He is in the midst of your fire. Oh, look to the left and look to the right. He's there. He's about to shut the mouths of your lions, the lions that will devour you, the foxes that will spoil your vine. I'm going to tell you, I believe that God just wants you to come higher this morning. He wants you to come higher so that he can reveal more of who he is. This is a word today. I declare if you're going to work today that you would hear the voice of God in your travel to work, that in between your home and in between your job, that God will speak to you in your car, that he will speak to you on your lunch break. I pray that your ears will be anointed to hear what thus say the Lord to you. May every prophetic word that's been spoken over you begin to come to pass. Oh, in Jesus name, I pray that that word, that promise, that thing that you've been believing leaving God for. He is not finished. He's just beginning. Oh my gosh. Who is this for today? I speak it over you today. I pray it over you today. I declare it over you today. God is not finished. And if you just need just this word to make it into another day, his grace is sufficient. Let me tell you, he's able to do exceedingly. I pray for exceedingly to be your portion today. I declare exceedingly over your money, over your life, over your spirit, over your family, exceedingly, exceedingly, exceed. I speak it this morning that God will begin to develop the exceedingly in your life. May 2020 and beyond be exceedingly beyond your thoughts beyond your plans. As you write the vision, know that even before the ink dries on the paper, it is already finished. Even before you begin to approach that thing that you've been believing for, before you begin to see it in your dreams, it's already finished. It's developed. It's lined up with the purpose and plan and the timing of God. How many of you know the timing of God is not your timing? And so I pray that you come into the revelation that he is working it out. Oh my gosh, my gosh. Somebody say exceedingly, exceedingly. That's a word for this morning. You need to look at your situation, your circumstance. You need to look at your wallet, your bank account. You need to lay all your debt out and say exceedingly. May God begin to speak exceedingly over your circumstance and situation. May he begin to speak exceedingly into your marriage. May he begin to, oh, you've got a, you've been believing for a healing. Just declare exceedingly. Ah, 
glory to God, glory to God. I'm encouraged this morning because something is breaking, something is shifting. God, I thank you for a breaker's anointing that you would break and destroy every yoke in the spirit concerning the lives of your people. Father, there are men and women today that are expecting and believing to come into the exceedingly that you have for them. Lord, we love to say exceeding abundantly, but first, God, establish exceedingly in our lives, in our in our thoughts, in our families, in our ministries, in our business. Establish exceedingly in our growth. Let our growth in you be exceedingly. Let us begin to mature beyond, Lord God, exceedingly. Let us not just be temporarily Christians, but Lord, let us continually walk in the fullness of the power of our faith. Let our faith be exceedingly. Father, I thank you that you are causing some to go higher, go deeper, go wider. I thank you, Father God, that you are synchronizing us to the word that says exceedingly oh prophesy it this morning we pray right now yokes of bondage yokes of burden yokes of confusion yokes of religion yokes of mediocrity God is calling you to more today who is this for can I give you a word God is calling you to more there's more to you I love to say than what meets the eye oh don't let somebody just look at you and determine what your end is the end of your thing is better than the beginning I'm prophesying and I'm declaring the end of your year 2019 is going to be better we extract the bitter and we declare that you will taste and see that the lord is good he is good to you he's good to your family he's good to your children he's good on your job you may not like your job but he's still good he's good to your body let me tell you this when you begin to add the promises of god the word of god to your body your body will declare that he is good your business will manifest that he is good let me tell you every limitation and every blockage in the spirit. Matter of fact, we pull down vain imagination. Those thoughts that have stopped you, that have stagnated you, that have called you to second guess if God is with you, we bind that today in Jesus' name. We declare who the Son has set free is free indeed. So today, may you walk in the freedom and the liberty of Jehovah. For he is the I am that I am. And you will not be bound. You won't be bound by people's thoughts. You won't be bound by the distract. Let me tell you, distractions are necessary. Distractions are necessary so it can recalibrate your focus. So may you begin to focus on that which is real. That which is authentic. That which is organic. That which is the original intent of God for your life. Let me tell you, the distractions come to deceive you. The distractions come to to deceive that purpose that God has put inside of you. And so we declare that you will not be deceived Uh huh. in Jesus name. Let, may you know the truth and may it make you free. May it make your way free. May it make your money free. May it begin to make your mind free. Oh, this is important today. I don't know who this is for, but I feel God breaking off of somebody's life. Oh, your day is going to be grand. It's going to be great. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be marvelous. I pray for signs, wonders, and miracles to follow this day. So your focus is on him. Ah, can I give you a scripture this morning? I feel like praying and prophesying. This is good this morning. If you are receiving this, let me know. Share if you care. Or give me some hearts and likes. Give me uh, listen when you when you click those hearts and likes, it's the law of agreement. There is an agreement that takes place when you respond to the word of God. I feel like flowing this morning. When God is speaking, you've got to agree to it. Your heart is your amen. Your like is your amen. Go on and respond to it. How many of you know? Because it's just you and God this morning. I don't know who he's speaking to specifically, but I know he's speaking to me and there is more that is in store for your life. I just declare that today in Jesus name that what has been held up, what has been stolen from you in the last decade will bring you a double portion anointing, will bring you a double manifestation. Let me speak to some Job's this morning. You've lost everything. Carol, I'm just declaring that the next 10 years of your life will not be connected to a machine, will not be on a dialysis process 
but it will be on the freedom and liberty of the Lord. You shall live. Let me speak this to everybody. You shall live and not die. Your dream will not die. Your vision will not die. Your passion will not die. Oh, I'm speaking to some believers this morning. That God that you have trusted in and depended on, he has not stopped working in your life and it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working on your behalf. It's working in your mind. It's working. Oh, I'm speaking to your spirit. It is working. Ah, glory to God. My gosh, my God. Can I just pause for a moment? Huh. Man, oh man, this is good. Let me tell you, I just believe that today prophetically something is happening in the spirit. This is a giving Tuesday and I just feel the Lord giving you a thrust, giving you a jolt in the spirit, giving you an igniting. He's igniting something inside of you. Let me tell you some, I can hear your hallelujahs shouting in Jesus name. I can hear your yes, Lords. There's a sound of release. And I believe that God is bringing the release in your life. And he's bringing them from the, we call it from the four corners of the earth. We call it from every ministering angel. We call it from every place in Jesus name that has your blessing, that has your name. There is a blessing with your name on it. There is a contract that's been waiting for your business. There is a shift and a change concerning the where you've been. You might be in some trouble today, but I'm going to tell you this. God is a liberator. He is a freedom worker and he will work a miracle on your behalf. Uh, glory to God. May God begin to promote you. May God begin to establish you. May God begin to anoint you. Let me say this. Some of you, you don't even realize God wants to anoint you, not just for more, but that you can conquer, that you can overcome. So I just declare as we prophesy, we speak to every mountain that's been in your way. So some of you have been at this place too long. So know this today that God is calling you higher. He's calling you to come forth. Matter of fact, come forth, says the Lord. Don't just stay right where you're at. Some of you have already began to pack your bags in your mind. So I'm just calling you. Just go ahead and make the move. Make the move. It is time. Make the move. You've been in the place called Lodabar too long. Mm -hmm. So it's time for you to pursue, pursue that which God has given you. You only need one word today. Huh? If that word is pursue, pursue the business, pursue the, the vacation, pursue the change, pursue something that God, I don't know who this is for, <laughs> but God is saying pursue, pursue him. Seek the Lord like never before. Let me tell you. I, I, I want to say this very clearly. This is an hour that you've got to seek God. Uh, you know, when you seek God, all of your distractions are, are annihilated. When you begin to seek God, nothing else matters. And I'm going to say this. Let me say this as you as we wrap this up today. Good morning, Nadine. Good morning. I see you on this morning. Bless you. Let me wrap this up. That I thank you for the law of agreement. When you agree, if you're just tuning in and jumping on, look, we are praying and prophesying. We're declaring over you today that on this third day of December, know this. Ha! This is a third day resurrection. On the third day, there was a resurrection that day. I take, I declare and decree that today you would experience. A resurrection, something that is dead. We prophesy to every dry bone in your life. We prophesy to every dead area. If you are a preacher, if you got a ministry where areas have been dead concerning your relationship, concerning your ministry, concerning your walk, we declare resurrection. We, we declare, uh, this is what Jesus said, loose that man, loose that woman and let them go. Everything that has been dead and dormant, we, dis we speak and we prophesy that it comes alive, that it awakens, that God breathes upon it. May God breathe upon your life, breathe upon that thing inside of you, that you will begin to soar, that you will begin to mount up with wings as eagles, that you will begin to run and not grow weary. Let the weak say, I am strong. Good morning, Yvonne Fuller. God bless you this morning. God is, that's right, restitution. We declare right now that for this cause was Christ coming in your life. This is the purpose. This is the reason to defeat the hand of the enemy. And so we bind every principality, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, every demonic assignment against you, your family, your children, your city, your house, your block, your neighbors. We bind that thing this morning in Jesus name. And we declare that God will begin to release his warring angels to fight, to stand on your behalf. May you be encamped 
by the presence and by the power of God. Somebody say, I'm getting rid of the distractions. Come on, get rid of the voices, get rid of the naysayers, get rid of the haters, get rid of those that have been speaking against you. Matter of fact, every tongue that has spoken against you up until this date, we declare that their tongue will stick to the top of their mouths and that that word will cease. Every negative word that has been hanging and hovering over you, your children, your house, we silence it this morning. Ha <laughs> ha. And we declare in the atmosphere, the environment that you live in, that it will be conducive for signs, wonders, miracles, and the power of God. I believe God this morning. I just, I'm just crazy enough to believe that he will do what he said he would do. I'm just believing that today, that whatever you've been looking for, that you will find it, you will discover it because it's inside of you. Matter of fact, know this. The Bible says this very clearly. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And so I want to stir up him that's in you. The Christ that's in you. The faith that's in you. The mindset that's in you. The anointing that's in you. Let me tell you, some of you been anointed from the womb. He told, he said, Jeremiah, I've known you from your mother's womb. Let me tell you, that, <laughs> that prenatal blessing and anointing that's on your life, I pray that it comes forth in this season. You could be 40, you could be 50, you could be 60, you could be 20. No matter what, I want you to understand this. There has been something that God has been wanting to do. And I pray that he does it in your life now. Not tomorrow, not next week, but now. Somebody just needs to say now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now is the power manifesting your life. Now is the anointing destroying the yoke off of your children now watch this you 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 dealing with you struggling you got temptations you got lust let me tell you now is the time for your deliverance may god begin to deliver you and make you whole first of all let him deliver you from people places and things second of all let him deliver you from religion without results number three let him deliver you from the place of lack in god there is no lack and so every place where there is lack may he begin to cause abundance to overshadow you overtake you may it begin to flow out of you may the abundance of god for this season be on you in a great and mighty way oh he's removing the distractions and so we pray this morning that you have a straight focus no more broken focus no more break oh my gosh no more broken promises no more broken habits i pray for consistency in this season i pray for a stronger commitment to the things that you put your hands to don't look back press forward look ahead for the christ that you serve is not behind you he's in front of you leading you into green pastures oh my gosh somebody say i'm on focus let me give you this thought right here Focus all of your, uh, all of your, all your priorities. Let me tell you, focus must be filtered through priorities. Narrow down to that one thing. I, I didn't expect to go like this. I wanted to give you something, but I guess, uh, Holy Spirit, God wanted to give you something else, something fresh. And so we pray that you receive this manner this morning. And I want you to focus, listen, your focus, filter your focus. Filter your focus through priorities. What is the priority? This is the one thought I'm going to give you this morning. This is Jermaine, right? Let me give you this one thought. Narrow it down to one thing. As you, as you transition in this year, as the Lord continues to give you days in this year, may you focus on one thing. Narrow it down to the one thing. Work on the one thing and he will establish the rest. Right. Seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. Make your focus filtered through your priorities. What is your priority? If your priority is to complete something, if your priority is to do something, filter your focus through your priorities. When you filter your focus through your priorities, he will eliminate all of that stuff that don't have no progression in your life. He will take all of that stuff. See, when you focus your, when you focus, when you filter your focus through your priorities, he will begin to tell you, you don't need that. You don't need to do this. You don't need to be around that person. You don't need to go there. This is what you need to do. So that's my prayer and my thought for you today. Look, I guess I'll just pick back up tomorrow on a scripture of what I was going to show you. Um, we was going to read Hebrews chapter 12, verse three, but uh, I'll just, 
maybe come back later. I don't know. But I pray that you've been blessed today. I, I can feel um, God really just being a blessing to you today. Thank you so much. There's a pull this morning. And so sometime in the spirit, um, when somebody is expecting more than just uh, a, a good message and a prayer, uh, you know, God will speak. And so I pray that if God encouraged you, if you have been encouraged by the spirit of the Lord, by the presence of God, I just pray that if you have been blessed, you know, let us know. Because I know that there are some things that God is doing and he may do it through these Monday through Fridays. I believe I, be, I, I really believe that God is doing more in your life just because you're willing to listen and hear. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. And so be blessed. Uh, be lifted again. This is Giving Tuesday. Give to a, a nonprofit organization, not just the branch. If you want to give to the branch, go to our website. Uh, the branch wc.org. We're not here. Uh, just well, listen, we, we want to give to you. Uh, so, but if you've been blessed, but this is a giving Tuesday, this is what we call giving Tuesday everywhere. So find an organization, find a nonprofit um, that you want to be, a, be a blessing to. If it's your church, your church, if it's the branch, um, it's not just one thing, but so a seed somewhere today in a nonprofit organization. And again, if you want to be a blessing to the branch, uh, you could do that. The branch wc.org. Um, is the website, but we thank God for you. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. If you've been blessed, you've been encouraged, know this. It is by the spirit and by the presence of God that goes with you and go before you. And I pray and I declare as always, we believe that your giants are defeated. Everything that you face in that seems like it's large. God is severing your giants at the head. Your red seas are open. Your red seas are open, but they will close your Pharaoh that's behind you. Your Pharaoh that has tormented you, that has chased you, that has held you, will not hold you down anymore. And your Jericho walls are coming down. And so that thing that you have been silent about, God is saying your sound, your voice is going to bring down every wall, every barrier, every limitation concerning the promises of God for your life. This is your revelation moment. I'm Pastor Jay. If you've been blessed, let us know. You've been encouraged, share it with somebody, invest and invite this broadcast on your timeline. Share it with somebody. And if you haven't joined Revelation Moment and you're watching, I don't know how you're watching, but if you haven't joined Revelation Moment or haven't invited someone, if you don't do anything else, our goal is to have 200 uh, 2,020 people, 2,020 people by January 2020. So um, do that. Invest someone to the group. Tell somebody. Don't just invite them. Say, girl, bruh, you got to get on this broadcast Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. All right. Have a blessed day. We love you. Again, there's nothing you can do about it. Bye for now. Shalom. Shalom.